brother sun, sister moon, sister stars shine day and night. See them shine, beautiful, radiant splendor of light. Brother Sun and Sister Moon, heaven and earth proclaim God's glory. All praise be yours, most high God. Brother wind, brother air, fair and storm, all weathers move. Colored flowers, Healing herbs, heavenly grace flows through you. Brother Sun and Sister Moon, heaven and earth proclaim God's glory. All praise be yours. Most High God. Brother Sun, Sister Moon. Blessed be the Most Holy Trinity, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our hearts, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbor as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets too. Let us pray. Most high and glorious God, we give you thanks for the wonders of this day. We ask you, as always, to guard us, to guide us in your ways, and to keep us safe. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and rules with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. For our God is a lover of humanity. Our God is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We ask you that you make us aware of your presence in the poor, in the oppressed, and in all things. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lift up your voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Holy God, Holy and Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. To the living God, the holy and blessed three in one, be honor and glory now and for all time beyond time into the fullness of eternity. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Give praise to the Holy One, the source of all being, to the eternal Word, Jesus, and to the Holy Spirit, who breathes life into all creation, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Holy God, holy 
and mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. <clears throat> wisdom is with us. Spirit of wisdom, break and open the soil of our hearts that we may be open to your holy word. Let us prepare our hearts in silence. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First he degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the end he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled is darkness, for there is no gloom where now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. And they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as those make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the church in Corinth. I beg you, sisters and brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to agree in what you say. Let there be no factions, rather be united in mind and judgment. I've been informed, my brothers and sisters, by certain members of Chloe's household that you are quarreling among yourselves. This is what I mean. One of you will say, I belong to Paul. Another, I belong to Apollos. Still another, Cephas has my allegiance. And the fourth, I belong to Christ. Has Christ been divided into parts? Was it Paul who was crucified for you? Was it in Paul's name that you were baptized? Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wordy wisdom. However, lest the cross of Christ be rendered void of its meaning. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom and healed those who were sick. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went down to live in Capernaum by the sea, near the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, to fulfill what had been said through Isaiah the prophet. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, along the sea beyond the Jordan, heathen Galilee, a people living in darkness has seen a great light. On those who inhabit a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to proclaim this theme. Reform your lives. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Jesus.
Jesus walked among us as one of us, a human being. Yet he understood things that, that we still today will never understand. And that's okay. We are human beings with limited minds and limited scopes of understanding. And he, while human, was also God. But it's interesting that every time he talks about the reign of God, he talks about peace. He talks about taking care of one another. He talks about serving the poor. Every time he talks about the reign of God, he asks us to do something. And I truly think that if we did, if we, the whole world, did, the reign of God would be accomplished. If we truly understood the things that he was trying to tell us, the things God was trying to communicate to us, how could we let there be suffering? How could we allow someone to go without food, without shelter, without clothing, without respect? Jesus was different than so many of the things that were expected of the Messiah. People expected the Messiah to come riding a horse, wielding a sword, driving out the Romans. But he came broken. He came giving of himself. He came asking us to do the same. People in darkness has seen a great light. If we truly see that light, we will change our lives. It's funny, we always want the other people to change. I want them to change. I want this to happen. I want that to happen. If I were king, this would be... But God asks us to change here. To change our heart understand our place in salvation. That is that we help give salvation to others. We help others. That's what God expects of us. It's what God has always expected of us. Somehow we seem to fall short of that time and time again. But if people in darkness have seen a great light let us notice that light. Let us be a part of that light. Let us share that light with others. May God bless us all. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. O God, holy and mighty, who accept the sacrifice of praise from your people, Accept the prayers we now offer to you. Help us to offer you these gifts which we have been given for our sake and for all creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, 
May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to our God. Let us give God thanks. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right, good, and joyful, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, gracious God. In your immense love, You've made a covenant with us, bringing all creation to life. Again and again you have sealed that covenant in Abraham and Sarah and in their offspring. And when the time was ripe, you gave us your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He walked among us as a sign of your blessing and faithfulness. And finally, he embraced the world's suffering and death, darkness, in obedience to your covenant. Because of this, you raised him up, giving us new life and blessing. Therefore, we join with the angels and saints in proclaiming your blessedness and ours as well. We forever proclaim the glory of your holy name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of mind, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are we who come in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Gracious God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, your Son, teaches us to seek your holiness. Speaking heart to heart, he assures us that we are blessed when poor in spirit. For the poor belong the realm of heaven. Blessed are the poor, and blessed are we who are poor in spirit. Jesus comforts us in our mourning. He blesses us when we are weak, and promises that the earth will be in our inheritance. When we hunger and thirst for what is right, we will be filled with the utter fullness of God. In being merciful, we will find his blessings of mercy given to us. Blessed are the merciful, and blessed are us who show mercy. It is the Holy Spirit's blessing for us to see the very face of God in our becoming pure of heart. We are truly your children, gracious God, and we would bless our world and peace. And when lies, slander, and persecution come to us because we belong to your Son, you promise us reward in your realm. So with joy we take our place with the prophets of old. Blessed God, in your beloved Son we seek to be a blessing, doing what he asks of us. So remember that Jesus took bread and wine. He gave you thanks, saying to the disciples, Take and eat this bread. Take and drink this cup. This is my body broken for you. This is my blood poured out for you. When you eat and drink here, I live in you and you in me, and sin has lost its sway. Blessed are we who eat and drink of this cup. We know what Jesus has done for us in his death. We live on the faith of his resurrection and his return to you. We stand ready in hope to greet him when he comes again in glory. On that last day, may we be gathered with all your blessed ones, God of all our ancestors. It is with all your churches that we offer this thanksgiving prayer and praise. We ask that those who are leaders in our church, the Holy Synod of Bishops, me, your unworthy servant, serve us that we may be ready signs of your comfort, mercy, and peace. May we labor long and lovingly to be a blessing to all, spending ourselves for your sake. For we proclaim your death in us, Lord Jesus, until you come. Loving God, may your Holy Spirit bless us and our gifts to be the very body and blood of him who will return. Holy Spirit, you mold us, shape us, and fashion us into Christ, the head of the body whose members we are. 
Make us bold to bless those who mourn, who seek what is good and holy. Make us worthy members of your mercy and peace, so that Christ may be all in all. Blessed be God forever. For through Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. Amen. And the Holy Spirit prompts us to pray in the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. The bread we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? The cup we drink, is it not a sharing of the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on the last day. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for you. Feed on him faithfully. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. We have feasted on God's word and this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For our friend Aaron, who has passed on to your realm, and for all those who have gone marked with the sign of faith, may God bless them and bring them to your kingdom forever. for the sick and the suffering, for those who heal them, for those who love them, for those who sorrow for them. We pray to the Lord. For the bishops, priests, deacons, and members of the Orthodox Catholic Church of America who have died and gone before us, <coughs> that God accepts their sacrifice and brings them to heaven. We pray to you, O Lord. Amen. For all the administrators, teachers, children, parents, facing going back to school during this time of COVID-19, we pray. All the prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us embrace one another in peace, and then go forth to serve God in friend, in foe, in neighbor, and in stranger. Peace be with you, and also with you.